So several years ago, we were struggling uh, heavy in the sales department. You know, we hire, we spend two weeks and we hire three people, only to have those three people at the end of the month leave and start over with. And uh, so in one of our managers meetings, my, my Tim Ryan, my sales manager said, listen, this isn't working. We got to do something different. Um, I keep hiring people within the month they're out they're gone and then i go back and i'm doing the same thing over and over and over again and you know the old uh you know what's the uh what's the definition of insanity and we were doing it um so he said we need to get a good trainer we need to find somebody to help us uh well i had had sean kelly's name uh from before and so i reached out to some people uh sean called me uh, he came in and we kind of went through and started with just on the sales side on onboarding and I mean he he car motivators really took and changed our culture to a place where and you know when you first sit with him he's like we want this to be a place that, that salespeople want to come to not well I heard Brown's hiring I can't find a job anywhere else let's go try there um, we want to be a place that people are like I'm doing pretty good here at so and so but hear about Don Brown and what they do and, and so it really just kind of uh, he came in and, and had a lot of meetings and a lot of the first meetings were a little struggle with some of my management team because they're like well how are you going to change it and, and, and Sean's like well I need to find a baseline first so let's figure out what I'm dealing with so I saw what he was doing and uh, um, and he in a year and a half we have two or three salespeople that had left us back several years ago that are back working for us that reached out to us and said, we want to come back to work. Um, we don't have any problems hiring salespeople now. We got a great staff. If you look at my staff now versus what it was two years ago, it's night and day. It's just so different. And um, and it's really, that's that's what Sean's done uh, and, and car motivators, but, but you know, then he came and he came in and he brought Reed in and Reed started doing some things with the BDC and uh, and wow, that went from here to here and then we struggled, we had some situations in service and Sean kind of became one of my one of my guys, my small inner circle of people that, you know, when I had a question or a comment or whatever, I would call Sean and say, hey, I need to sit and talk to you. Uh, at the time, it's funny, I had a general manager and uh, Sean had spent the day here, and uh, and I had him in my office at the end of the night, and I'm like, okay, I, I got some problems, and I probably want to replace my general manager. Well, he was at first kind of floored, but he was my guy that I could bounce those ideas off of, and I don't really, in this business, um, you have a lot of acquaintances, you don't have any close inner circle, and, uh, and he kind of became that pretty quick. Well, now you look at us, what we're doing, you know, he's brought Justin in, on the service side and uh, and you know, our service business is going and our BDC uh, reads coming in and doing stuff with our service BDC and and it's going this way and, and our culture now is in such a different scenario than it was two years ago uh, as we spoke earlier my son's coming in you know he's 20 uh, Sean actually calls my son in college and sits down and talks about stuff with him and you know what do you, what are your goals here so he's helping my son and growing my son and to be the next dealer um and i see you know i see sean 20 years from now us drinking a, a bottle of red wine eating a big steak talking about you know what the kids are doing so uh it, it's been it truly has been uh night and day uh with the, the car motor